All right, we are live and I'm super excited to do this because I haven't done these live streams for a long time and right now I have super fast internet connection. So I'm super excited to see uh, who is gonna be here on the live stream. And of course, you can ask me any questions that you want. So I'm going to wait for a few more minutes until we get more people in the live stream. And uh, there is a chat box right on the right of the screen. So you can type there any questions that you want. Oh, we have one guy, it's Asaf. Do you track macros? Um, no, at the moment I don't really track anything. <laughs> I, I have a company that cooks the food for me and then deliver for me the foods every single day. So this is what uh, I do. I don't really have time to cook. I just want someone to cook the meals for me and send them to me uh, over there. What video games did you used to play? <laughs> I used to play Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4 was the my favorite game. But uh, if you ask me what games I like, I would definitely say Call of Duty is number one. Uh, number two, I really like uh, GTA, Grand Theft Auto. So that's another game that I'm super excited and waiting for them to release it. Hi, Xanius. <laughs> it's, my name is Xenia, it's not Xani. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is your ethnicity? So I'm from Cyprus, so I'm Cypriot, but I live in London. Hi, man. Achilles Generalis, Dimitris Fitness. What do you think wins Minister Olympia, men's physique and bodybuilding? Uh, I don't really think uh, we're going to have new winners. I think uh, physique is for sure. Jeremy Buendia, his physique is insane. And for Mr. Olympia and bodybuilding, I would say uh, Phil Heath for sure. <laughs> Those guys, they are unstoppable. They are really the best. Although I haven't watched Mr. Olympia for a long time right now. Um, Xenos, how can you gain mass in the army with little amounts of food? Any tips? So as you know, I used to be in the army, in the special forces for two years. So I know a few things about the army. What I used to do, basically, I used to have a mass gainer with me, although it was illegal, unfortunately. But um, uh, somehow I managed to pass it in in the army without getting caught. And I used to uh, take mass gainers. I mean, the, the food that they used to give us, it wasn't really a lot. So I really had to have some sort of mass gainer. So this is the only way for you to gain muscle mass. And uh, I hope that you also have a gym at your army. This is the only way for you to start making some gains while in the army. Xenios Mori Bechtara, Thanasis, my Greek people. What's your height? My height is 174, so that's five feet eight. Hi, are you gay, bisexual, or straight? I'm 100% straight. <laughs> Where are you from? I already answered this. I'm from Cyprus and I live in London. What do you do for a living? Good question. I do YouTube. <laughs> I basically help people. I help busy people, uh, entrepreneurs and celebrities get in the top shape of their life. This is what I do. And that's why I'm also doing YouTube videos because uh, I'm documenting all my journey, all I share with you all my knowledge, and basically I'm trying to help people all around the world get in the best shape of their life. Hey Legend, can you make a video of full day of vegan? I don't really think I'm going to make a video about this because I'm not vegan, but what I can do though, I can give a call to my chef because I have a chef that cooks for me, and I can tell him to make me a vegan menu. So that's possible, although I'm not quite sure if I want to try it. I'm a footballer. Should I focus on strength training or gain muscle? I mean, okay, it depends from you. I mean, how you look at the moment. If you don't have enough muscle mass, of course, you should focus on muscle mass. But at the same time, Keep in mind that you are a, a football guy and you need to be able to run fast. So if you are going to gain muscle mass, make sure that you don't overdo it. You don't want to become a, a super bodybuilder. Uh, just make sure you maintain good amount of weight based on your height. Make sure you can be functional. 
And of course, man, the more muscle you have, of course, the better. Do you play football? No, <laughs> I don't play football, but I sometimes play basketball. I have a basketball uh, court in my house. So sometimes I try to do that. Man, you are doing good. Keep going. Cheers, bro. Thank you so much. Um, oh my God, so many questions, man. How much protein do you take in a day? So currently for me right now, I'm around 200 grams of protein per day. Uh, I have what I eat over here. So let me show you. Uh, oh, shit. Actually, I don't have it. I threw it in the garbage. I have like a menu of what I eat every single day. But uh, unfortunately, today I threw it in the garbage. So <laughs> bad luck. Hello, brother. Love from India. What's up, people from India? Um, let's see some other questions. How to gain weight and grow beards? <laughs> what do you mean, man? Because <laughs> I have beard. Honestly, I'm going to get this off tomorrow. <laughs> Xenos, are you going to make a video or uh, full day of eating and workout videos and vlogs? Uh, I really want to do this, but to be honest, making vlogs is really uh, a lot of time of my day. Maybe as soon as my assistant comes to London or if I get a new assistant in London that works full time with me, maybe I can do this. But really at the moment, I'm doing this all by myself. So that's it. Hi, Xenios. What have you found is the best way to combine and train body parts? Chest, triceps, back bite. Okay, great things from Limassol. Shout out to Limassol. Limassol is my hometown, so <laughs> that's really good. Um, yeah, so basically what I found that works best is to train each muscle mass twice per week. This is the best at the moment. This is, I, I, I've done everything. I, I've done push, pull legs, I've done one muscle per week, I've done two muscles per week. The best workout that you can do to get the maximum results is to find a way to train everything twice per week. This is the best way for you and the most effective. I mean, this is what works for me. Uh, you should try it. And when I say that I do two muscle groups per week, I always try every eight weeks to do something new. So I don't really train two muscle groups per week. This is what I, I want to follow you. I want to tell you, sorry. Um, stay yours. What's up, brother? <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you so much. You come online, Abdallah, always commenting on my videos. I remember you. <laughs> um, you saw my idea. What idea, by the way? If you have any ideas, always let me know in the comment section. I always read every single comment. Even I take in considerations. If you tell me to do a video, I always do it. For example, the other day, one guy told me to make a video about how to get the waist smaller. Honestly, it was an idea from a subscriber. I read the comments and I just do the videos. Honestly, I don't, <laughs> and that's why I come up with ideas all the time. I follow you on Instagram, so it will be great if you call you a chef and post a diet chat on Instagram. Sometimes I do post it. I'm not sure if I, I posted anything today. Honestly, guys, I, I, I'm so busy. I don't really have time to do Instagram posts or, or stories. Uh, lately, my time is going crazy. So, uh, for example, I just posted today what I ate. This is from my uh, Instagram. Uh, I posted like a few hours ago, so that's it. What advice will you give to teenagers trying to build muscle? <laughs> eat as much food as possible. Make sure you eat sufficient protein. Hit the weights hard. And that's it. This is what I did when I was a teenager. I was basically bulking for uh, a long amount of time. And that's how I managed to get this physique that I've got right now. How to progress on pull-ups? I can only do six. Uh, so if you want to do more pull-ups, my best advice to you is to uh, basically start doing weighted pull-ups. As you start doing weighted pull-ups, then you will start seeing some awesome results and you will also see 
by yourself that you will able to do more repetitions when you are going to do body weight. So that's my best advice on that. Sarah Ramazalo, hello, what's up? Can I do full body workouts three to five times per week? Yeah, I mean, if it works for you, why not? What I told you guys from before, just try to do as many things as possible. Try everything, see what works best for you. Make sure you track your results. And uh, at the end of the day, you will find your own formula. It's simple as that. Love from India. Do you miss working in the army? Not really. <laughs> in the army, I used to have the worst and the best memories of my life. So if you ask me to go back again and do it again, hell no. <laughs> Hi, can you tell me, please, what is the best workout to get bigger glutes? Uh, there is no best workout. I mean, just try to do legs twice per week. Try to focus on squats, barbell hip thrusts, working lunges, uh, sumo deadlifts. Those are the, really the best exercises to build glutes. So uh, that's my best advice on that. Samuels, bro, how I manage my diet? I hit 3,200 calories. I mean, a military. That's really good if you can do that. I'm your biggest fan from Pakistan. <laughs> awesome, man. Good to hear about this. Samuels, any bulking tips and training routines you'd recommend for gaining mass? Uh, as I said before, try to be on a caloric surplus. Try to hit uh, muscle your muscles twice per week. Make sure you are uh, adding progressive overload to your workout program, and then you are good to go. And focus on compound exercise. Xenius, how, how can I incorporate gym and football? Because I train football two, two to three times per week a day. What? Maybe, yeah, you mean per week and six days a week. Honestly, I, I don't really sure. I don't understand your question. Just try to type it again and maybe I'll give you a proper answer. Luis Bondigis, thanks, man. Cheers, bro. Um, what's the best workout for MMA fighters? I'm not specialized for MMA, but I've done a lot of videos with a professional MMA fighter, which is in the UFC. Actually, I don't know if you guys have watched those videos. Is with that crazy girl, Helen Harper, Hellraiser, it's her nickname. So I have videos about that. I'm not specialized in MMA, but uh, you can definitely hit her up. I have her Instagram so somewhere in my videos, just message her and ask her anything about MMA. She's really the best and she's also in the UFC. How can I grow my strength? Okay, uh, strength is basically, obviously, heavy weights, progressive overload, and that's the secret. Will I lose fat if I'm a newbie and I'm bulking? The only way for you to lose fat is if you are on a caloric, sorry, caloric deficit. So if you are on a caloric deficit, then you will lose fat. There is no other way. So basically, you eat uh, less, of what you burn. Xenius, would you like to visit Pakistan? A lot from my country, staying pleasant and happy. Who knows, man, maybe one day uh, I will come and visit Pakistan. By the way, here in London, I have a lot of clients from Pakistan, so I really love you guys. When you stay, just, when you come to Cyprus, make sure you come to Ayia Napa. My hometown will be nice to, to meet you. We have the best gym in Cyprus. The, the world gym, have you ever heard of this gym? No, honestly, I, have, I haven't been to any gym in Ayia Napa, but I've been to Ayia Napa and I know it's an amazing place. So I would love to visit that. How did you move to, to Britain? So I've been living in the UK for the past six years now. Uh, I came here because I, I was at the university, then I left university, moved to London, and uh, I live in central London at the moment, and I work here. Daily five to 10 minutes of sprinting will hamper your gains? No. 
if your diet is perfect, then you should you should not really lose your gains. How much gym per day? I don't know per day, but you, you can really do this every day. If you know how to optimize your workout in the right way, you can really go to the gym every day and see awesome results. Do you wrap? <laughs> oh, crazy question. I know I had in the title some uh, questions about sex, I think. So <laughs> I was, that, was a, that was a good one. Xenios, I'm going to paracourse. I don't know what's paracourse in November. I will send you pics soon. I'm not sure what's paracourse, but uh, if you can give me more details, then it would be super appreciated. You are looking good. No, I don't look good. I need to cut this beard off. <laughs> what is your motivation? I don't know my motivation. It's just uh, you guys, honestly. I'm, I'm really doing what I'm doing because uh, I love sharing my knowledge with other people. And of course, I really like to look good. I care about myself. I like to help other people. So I th that's my motivation. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing every single day. My guy, I mean that I train two to three times per day football, but how can I incorporate gym with this because I already feel exhausted? First of all, how the hell can you play football two to three times per day? That's that's really crazy. If you have time to play two to three times per day football, then I'm sure you can have gym time as well. That's so crazy. You must pay a lot of money to rent an apartment in London. Yeah, I mean, London life is expensive. Hi, Sari. Marion Garcia. Oh my God, that was, I was with the guy, you gave you the idea of what I could do to get a smaller waist. Thank you for making the video you told me. Yeah, I told you guys. I mean, if you always have a video idea, just comment it in the comment section. And of course, I'm going to make this happen for you. It's simple as that. When are you coming to India? <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm really planning to, to visit those countries like uh, India, Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam. It's, it's in my plan to come and visit soon. Bro, we will be happy to come online like this, at least on a monthly basis. Honestly, it's in my plan to basically do these live streams once a week because this is the best way for me to interact with you guys. So honestly, any questions that you have, it's your opportunity for me right now to answer really anything. So any questions, honestly, just comment them. There is a like a chat box over here. Just comment it and I will get back to you. It's simple as that. Hyper Savage. Hyper Savage is one of my subscribers that comments on every single video and gives the best comments ever. So thank you so much, man. I super appreciate your support. Uh, I love you. Christos, what do you prefer? Green Berets or Navy Oik? Uh, to be honest, I've been through both somehow because I was in the Teo, the Mima y Nomadon back when I was in the uh, special forces. So I somehow know how is the training of both. I don't know, I don't really have a choice. I think obviously OIC is much tougher. Green Berets is easier, but both have their difficulty. I've been using your splits every day in different muscle groups for the last two months and I've seen good results. However, my incline stars are stacked probably at 80 kilos for five reps. Should I add additional set or try to lower reps? If you see that you stacked on your strength, so basically you hit strength plateau, my advice to you is to, to have a deload week. So this is a super advice, by the way, so make sure you take notes. If you start at strength plateau, you need to have a deload week. So what you need to do the whole week, I want you to go on high repetitions around uh, 15 to eight, uh, 20 reps. 
And then I want you to add lighter weights so on every single exercise. And I want you to do this for the whole week. As soon as you do that, then get back on the weight that you used to do, for example, 80, 80 kilos, or maybe try to go for 85. And you will see that you will start from the uh, strength plateau. Try this. Please make a video about calcium intake because I'm vegetarian, 50% protein from milk, cottage cheese, how I control the over intake of calcium. Yeah, what you can do, the best source for you to add a lot of calcium is to have uh, almond milk in your diet. So um, I think that's the only way for you to add calcium. And uh, I also have it in my diet as well. Not at the moment, but I used to have Personally, I'm not going to lie with you guys. I don't support vegan diets. I don't support vegetarian diets. And that be that's because um, it, it's, it's like super hard to get the proper vitamins and vit minerals that you need to have. Also, it's very hard to get your protein intake. And that's why I don't like to go vegan or vegetarian. There is nothing wrong with those diets. It's just me. I don't enjoy them. I've tried this before. It's not really for me. Um, of course, it's possible to gain muscle, to lose fat while being vegan and vegetarian. But again, this is not something that I like to do. So that's my personal preference. And I hope that you guys respect that. Of course, I know and I'm very aware about the environment, about animals. But again, it's my choice not to go vegan or vegetarian. So I have all the right to do this. Any tips on use music while working out? <laughs> Good one. So what I like to listen to uh, when I'm working out, I listen to News, Alter Bridge, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, um, Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin. This is really the music that I like to uh, work, uh, to, to listen when, when I'm working out. How much do you bench? I don't really bench a lot. To be honest, I bench probably 120 kilos for five reps. So this is not really a lot. My man, in football, if you want to go professional, you need to train one or twice per week. At least I basically have to school for time being so like, well, okay. I'm not sure I'm not specializing in football, so I'm, I'm not really the expert to to ask about that, yeah. Best split to gain strength fast. There is not really best split. Just make sure you try to have uh, a, a workout that you can train each muscle groups uh, like uh, twice per week. That's my best advice for you. I have small upper body and big lower body. Uh, any tips? <laughs> Try to balance everything out. I mean, I had this problem as well that my uh, lower body was smaller than my upper body. So basically uh, what I did, for example, right now, I train legs three times per week. And that's because I'm trying to balance my body. So this is what I, I like to do. Bro, whatever and whenever you need anything from here, Pakistan, please let me know. I will be happy. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Christos Kayafas. I used to train every day in summer in gym. Now I can't go because I live in a village and it's difficult for me to go to the gym. Moreover, I'm senior. I want to keep my strength. Can you tell me how I can? Okay. Uh, yeah, basically, if I were you, I would just try to do body weight exercises at home and believe it or not in your house you can do a lot of things to basically uh, which is exercises like in the gym for example i'm sure you have a place in your house that you can do pull-ups or maybe dips you can really connect two chairs together and do dips so you can still do body weight exercises and somehow maintain your strength or maybe in the worst case scenario just buy some dumbbells and barbells 
uh, at your house and just do that. It's simple as that and it's cheap. Xemios, do you count the protein from bread and other low amino acid foods? Of course, man, if, if anything has protein, you should count it. It doesn't matter if it's bread or I don't know, whatever else. If it has macros, then you need to count it. It's, uh, it's simple as that. Will you suggest some to become a personal trainer? Suggest the word. Can you give me more details in your question so I can help you? What goals or dreams do you have? I don't know. For me, is what I'm doing at the moment is for sure I want to build my fitness business to a massive level worldwide. I want to grow on YouTube. I want to help people uh, get in shape. And at the same time, I want to help people sustain their results. So that's my uh, goal at the moment. This is what I'm doing every single day. And uh, I hope that one day we'll get there. Xenios, what was your max deadlift? My max deadlift, believe it or not, was uh, 220 kilos. So. Uh, that's a lot of weight. Uh, uh, that's my super record. Xenios, do you think beginners should always do strength training first until they reach two plate bench, three plate squat, four plate deadlift, and one plate OHP? Um, I don't know. I think every beginner should focus on strength, gain as much muscle mass as possible. And if you are skinny and you don't have a lot of muscle mass, don't do cutting. Honestly, this is my super and best advice for you. Don't do cutting if you don't have enough muscle mass, if you, if you are a beginner. Spencer. Hey, Xenios. I wanted to, if you have any tips on how I can gain little muscle mass over a long time, six to eight months. It's simple. I mean, just go on a caloric surplus, have compound movements, compound exercises in your workout program. Make sure you train each muscle twice per week. Make sure you are consistent with what you are doing and make sure you eat enough protein and slowly, slowly, you will be able to gain a lot of muscle mass. The biggest problem that most people have is consistency. They can't keep it consistent. For example, you might know how to train, you might know how to eat, but you you can't keep it consistent. You don't have the motivation to go to the gym. You, you go on and off. And that's the biggest issue that most people have. It's a mindset issue. And that's why a, personal, a good personal trainer comes into play. They know exactly how to motivate you to get back to the gym. Honestly, guys, you don't want to pay someone to tell you to go to the gym. Honestly, my little sister and my little cousin can tell you to go to the gym and eat right. All you need is someone to teach you about the right mindset in order for you to keep the consistency so you are motivated to go to the gym, so you enjoy the gym. This is the biggest problem that we have currently in fitness. Everyone comes with videos on how to gain muscle mass, how to gain um, um, more strength, how to lose fat. Honestly, we are sick and tired about these videos and I'm really in a very bad position at the moment because I'm also making those videos and uh, the biggest problem that we have in the fitness industry and people get in shape is that they have a mindset issue. They don't know exactly how to design their diet and their work workout program in a way that they can sustain their results. For example, me at the moment, I eat whatever I want and I train however I want and I still get amazing results. For example, I go to restaurants, I go and drink alcohol, and I still maintain my shape. How can I do this? That's because I found a way to automate my nutrition, to automate my workout program, and at the same time, I design it in a specific way that I enjoy it, and it's super easy for me to follow it. This is the biggest mistake that most people have, and they don't know how to do it. So this is what I also teach to my clients. What, when my clients come to me, 
my biggest priority is not to give them a stupid workout program like a stupid PDF and okay, here is your diet, here is your workout program, just follow this. My priority when my clients come to me is I want to make sure they understand the main principles of why they are doing what they are doing because I know that they are not going to work with me for the rest of their life. So my goal is to make sure that they understand how the main principles work, how the main fundamentals work, and then I want to make sure that they are able to do the workout and the, the nutrition plan by themselves. So I don't even have to design for them the nutrition plan. I don't even have to design the workout program. They just do everything by themselves because they learn the principles and they do it themselves. So with this way, the benefits are that you understand why you are doing what you are doing. So this is the biggest problem because they give you a diet plan, they give you a workout program, and what you see is A and B, C. Make sure you understand why it's A and B, C and not C and B, A. Did you get it? So that's the biggest issue we have in the fitness industry at the moment. And of course, I'm trying to solve it with, uh, with coaching and with personalized solutions and all this kind of stuff. This is how I work with my clients. It's simple as that. And that's why they also get awesome results. Okay, let's go for one more question. I see that we have a lot of questions and uh, I'm super happy to answer anything for you guys. Let's find a good questions. When did you move to England? Was it hard to move away from your country when you had your family and everything? As I told you, as I moved to England six years ago, so I've been living now in the UK for the past six years, in London for the past two years. I moved here because I used to study at university. After I left from university, I started working and uh, I decided that I want to stay in London. Uh, the reason I'm staying in London is because you can meet some awesome people, some super high profile people, super high status people, uh, there is good business here, so that's why I like to, to live in London also. We have all the technology stuff. We have Amazon. We have a super fast internet, some things that I don't have in Cyprus. So that's why I really like to London. There is no really other way. And uh, I also like the fact that basically you can meet people from all around the world. You can meet people from... Uh, France, from Germany, from Ukraine, from Spain. You can meet people from all around the world. Here is a multinational city, and that's why I really like London. It's not just Cypriots, it's not just British people, it's people from all around the world. And it's so amazing to meet those people because you learn more about each culture. And it is so amazing, honestly. That's why I like London. Let's see any other questions. Are you planning to do any collapse? Okay, good question. So basically the only collapse that I've done at the moment is um, with um, uh, RSD Max, my very good friend, uh, RSD Max. Uh, I've done a collab with my other friend, Mario Tomic. So uh, that those are the only two collapse. I've done so far with other YouTubers. And I'm planning to have a collab with Brandon Kartner probably in two weeks. So he's coming to London and we're gonna shoot some videos probably together. So those are the, um, are the only collabs that I'm going to have. And when I do collabs and when I collaborate with other YouTubers, the only reason I collaborate with them is because I believe in what they are doing but at the same time, they also appreciate what I am doing. So that's why I like to call up with those people like Max, Mario Tomic. Uh, I, I really love those guys. They are on the top of what they are doing. They are so very good friends of mine. And uh, those are the only people, honestly, I like, I like to call up or any other person from the Real Social Dynamics. Real Social Dynamics who have very good relationship with all the guys over there. So um, that's the only collapse I like to do at the moment. 
do you do day game in London? <laughs> Honestly, London is amazing for day game and uh, yeah, I, I do it. I do it. Uh, day game is my favorite thing when it comes to honestly this is something that i never spoke in my channel before it's about dating and i really want to make videos about dating and uh tell you guys what i've learned so far because honestly i started doing this like two years ago when i when i was a complete newbie i didn't know anything about girls about dating about sex nothing honestly but after I made some good connections with uh, Max, <laughs> I've learned everything about uh, women, about dating. So uh, I really like to do those videos on my channel and maybe show you guys what I've learned so far about um, dating, what I've learned with, with from Max. Uh, I would love to do those videos. Do you support any football team in England? Honestly, I don't know. I don't. I don't watch football. So, the only team I support is Real Madrid, but that's in Spain. <laughs> what food gives you the most gains? There is no specific food. It's just a combination of many different foods. Which card do you have, and which one do you want? So in London, I don't have a car because you don't need a car and you know honestly if you have a car in london you are an idiot because you don't really need it you have we have the best transportation here the tube we have uber you don't really need a car but um i don't have a car for the reason that i'm under 25 and the insurance is going to be ridiculously expensive if i buy a car at the moment so I'm planning to get a car next year or maybe in two years from now. If I was about to buy a car right now, I will buy a Tesla Model X. That's my favorite car at the moment. And this is what I will buy. I'm sure you will be surprised that I said Tesla, but <laughs> honestly, I care about the environment and uh, I like Teslas. They are super fast. I also like Elon Musk. So that's one of them. Second reasons I want to buy Tesla because I I know that my money goes to the right person for future investments uh, about humanity and the world. So that's why I support Tesla. Favorite supercar? I will say, oh shit. I will say Ferrari 488. That will be my favorite supercar. Can Smith machine squats be a replacement for traditional squats? Yes, for the short term though. I mean, the best way to do this is to mix everything up. For example, try to do for eight weeks on the Smith machine. And after the eight weeks, try to go back to barbell. Don't stick to one program. Always try to switch things up and don't stick with the same exercises. Always try to add something new. The Tesla Roadster is amazing. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I love that. How much does your gym cost monthly? Whew, good question. So the gyms in London, in central London, they cost... If you go to a chain gym like Pure Gym or Fitness First or Anytime Fitness, they cost average 50 pounds per month. Now, if you go to a more prestigious gyms, that, like the one I go at the moment, then you are looking to pay around 100 to 150 pounds per month. Now, there are some more exclusive gyms, which are like 300 to 400 pounds per month. And this is in central London. Are you a gamer? If so, do you play on? Honestly, I don't have a TV. As you can see, I don't have a TV over here. Uh, it's empty. I have a stand, so I don't play games at the moment, but I really want to buy a TV and um, 
and maybe buy a PlayStation if that is anything new. What the fuck? 300 pounds. Yeah, this is how... This is London life, bro. This is London life. Everything here is expensive. <laughs> My question is skipped, man. What is your question? How do I improve my immune system? Okay, I thought basically you need to make sure that you eat the right vitamins and minerals from the right foods. And this is how you are going to improve your immune system. Make sure you have vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B. Those are my top vitamins when it comes to vitamins and minerals. And this is how you are also going to improve your uh, immune system slowly. Carb cycling, the best approach for fat loss. No, <laughs> the best approach for fat loss is caloric deficit. No matter if you are going to follow uh, the ketogenic diet, no matter if you are going to do a carb cycling, no matter if you are going to do low carbs, no matter if you are going to do uh, high fat and low carbs, whatever it is, you have to be on a caloric deficit. There is no really best way or even intermittent fasting. It's everything works with caloric deficit, so there is no best approach. Do you take multivitamins? Uh, no, I don't take vi 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 multivitamins. Uh, all the, the, my diet right now, I cover all my vitamins and minerals from my food, so I don't need to take any multivitamins. The only supplement that I take at the moment is vitamin d3 and that's because in london we don't have sun how do i increase my metabolism rate i have a video about that so search on youtube how to increase your metabolisms xenios and you are going to see a video of that i pay eight pounds here in sweden yeah i believe you uh, in other countries, the gyms are very cheap. Haider, what's up, man? I haven't seen you for ages. Haider used to comment on every single video, and right now, what's going on? You don't comment anymore. I asked you about Final Cut Pro on Snapchat. I just want to know, is it easy to get used to learn how to use the software? Yeah. Final Cut Pro is honestly the easiest uh, software to edit videos, so I super recommend it. How old are you? I'm 24. My gym is free. I get people to pay for me. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I need to know this trick. If you, if you, if you know any tricks on how other people can pay you a gym membership, Hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> I would love to know. Xenos, what's your daily calorie intake? Uh, at the moment, I eat around 2,900 calories per day. So I'm cutting at 2,900. But slowly, slowly, I'm going to drop even more. How can I be online coach? Simple. Go on Instagram, write online personal trainer. Simple as that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Just make sure you give a lot of value to people. Make sure you know what you are talking about. And um, if people trust you, then they will buy your coaching. Simple as that. How was your reaction when you made this massive transformation? Does it shock you? And did you start alone? or you had a partner. So I never had a training partner. I never had a personal trainer. And um, I did everything by my own. It took me like 10 years to get where I am today, although it will have taken much um, less time if I had someone to guide me. So that was my biggest mistake that I didn't have anyone to guide me with uh, nutrition, with training. So I was trying to do everything by myself. So that was my biggest mistake ever when I was uh, uh, training by myself. My parents pay. Yeah, if you are under 18, <laughs> I guess so.
Any other questions? How can I build muscles with CrossFit if I get enough protein? I mean, you can still build muscle with CrossFit. I'm sure you can do that. And uh, uh, if you eat the right protein and if you if you are on a caloric surplus, then of course you are going to gain muscle because CrossFit is mostly compound exercises. That's why it's one of the things that I like about CrossFit. So you, I'm sure you are going to build some muscle. Mihalis, what do you think of intermittent fasting, fasted training in the morning, and have it, having any sort of food at lunch onwards? Okay, so as I mentioned before, there is not really a best method to do a diet. The best way to see what's the best diet for you to follow is to see how is your daily schedule and how you can optimize your nutrition based on this schedule. So it doesn't really matter if you are going to do intermittent fasting or the keto diet or fasted training in the morning. For example, when it comes to losing fat, the only thing that you need to consider is you need to make sure that you're in a caloric deficit. If you are in a caloric deficit, then you are going to lose weight. So it doesn't really matter what approach you are going to follow. My best advice for you is to see how is your daily schedule and based on your schedule to see how you are going to optimize your meals. What's the best foods to eat? What time to eat, eat each foods? Um, how long is going to take you to eat those foods? How long is going to take you to prepare those foods? This is what my best advice for you. Don't look about intermittent fasting. Don't look about the keto diet. Just look how is your schedule and based on your schedule, try to see what will be the best for you. This is what I also do with my clients. The first thing that I ask them is how is their schedule? I want to see exactly what time they wake up, what time they go to work, uh, how long it's going to take them to go to work, what times they are allowed to, to eat. And then we are designing a plan based on that. Uh, then I ask questions about what time they, they have to go to the gym, what time they have to go to sleep, what time they have to see their family, how many times they go out to restaurants to see clients or how many times they go out to restaurants uh, with their family for foods or drinks, how many times they eat alcohol. And then we come with a personalized solution on how you can eat the foods that you want, how you can train with the way that you want. And that specific method is going to fit on your schedule. So that's my best advice. There is no, ah, do intermittent fasting. This is the best advice. No. Just we look at your schedule and then we come up with the best solution. This is how I work with my clients. And that's why they also get amazing results. And that's why they also can sustain their results. The biggest mistake that most people are doing, they start a very complicated diet. For example, let's say the ketone diet, which is a very good diet. I've tried this. But the main problem with the keto diet is that you cannot sustain it. So when you start something, the first question that you need to ask is, can I do this for the rest of my life? If you can do this uh, for the rest of your life, that means that the diet and the workout program that you are following is the best solution for you. So that's the first question that you need to ask because honestly, there is no point for you to start a diet or a training program and do it for two months or three months and then basically give up because it's super hard to follow. You, you don't have the foods that you enjoy. That's the biggest problem that most people have. They don't follow sustainable solutions. So this is what I wanted to say. We're already 50 minutes at the moment. If you are still watching this live stream, thank you so much, guys. We have some people uh, watching at the moment. What I'm going to do right now, if you need help with your fitness goals and if you want me to help you and be your coach, what I will recommend you to do is for you to book a free consultation call. It's either going to be with me or with one of my assistants. 
and this consultation call, we are going to discuss how you are going to go to your dream physique, how basically uh, you are going to achieve whatever you want in terms of fitness. So we are going to analyze exactly what are you doing at the moment, how many times you go to the gym, what, you, what diets you tried so far, how is your schedule, uh, what you do for a living, uh, what's your biggest struggles, everything. We are going to analyze everything and then I'm going to give you a solution on how you can go from here to here. Here is your dream physique. And who knows, if you like this consultation call, then you, be you can become one of my clients. I, I work with people from all around the world. They get amazing results. This is what we do. I mean, if I couldn't get results from people, then I wouldn't also offer this service. So if this is something that you are interested, make sure you book this free consultation call. It's so, super easy to follow it, uh, super easy to book it. There is like a link in the description below and uh, make sure you complete the application form. And if you are a good fit, then you can join and become one of my clients. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for this live stream. And uh, I'm going to try to do these live streams at least once a month. And uh, any questions that you have, always comment them in the comment section there. And I'm happy to answer to you with anything that you want. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again. And I will see you again on the next video, which is coming on Monday. See you.